not everybody's beauty, behold, not everybody's beauty and sit not in the midst of women. For from garments cometh a mold. Like, that's something like you got a lot of these uh, fag feminine spirited men, they always hanging out with women. And they don't want to be fucking them either. They just want some fag. Yeah. For from garments cometh a mold. And from women wickedness. So the Bible said that, yeah, the women is the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So women ain't supposed to be running around free. A woman's supposed to be on a leash. Okay? That's not supposed to be uh, women's lib. Okay? Women's lib is soon about to be a thing of the past. You say goodbye to a women's lib. It's over. From the garments come as they mold. Uh, what is the word liberty comes from? The uh, Latin word libris, which means weight. Balance. Because right now, there isn't. Liberty means there's balance in the world. That's what the word liberty literally means. It means the scales are balanced. And right now, the scales are not balanced. You know what I'm saying? So there is no liberty. So women's lib is a lie. It's actually, when actually, when you look up the word lib in a Webster's Unabridged Universal Dictionary, the definition for lib is to castrate, to castrate a man. Look it up. So women are supposed to be property. Women in our property. Hey, give me Ecclesiastes. Uh, what's that? Uh, Thirty-six. For from garments cometh a mold, and from women wickedness. So women wickedness, that's clear. Look at these wicked ass hoes, man. They ain't having sex with a thousand men. By the time a woman is 18 years old, she done had sex with like a thousand men. Like who wants to be with someone like that? You gonna catch, that's why we have uh, advanced forms of gonorrhea spreading. But now they got they got antibiotic resistant gonorrhea floating around because all you hoes want to be adulterous ass whores. Want to sleep with every last man you run into because you're weak. And, and this government lets you. Okay? If America was truly a Christian nation, there would be laws uh, that, that punish an adulterer and an adulterer. Because the Bible says an adulterous woman should be put to death. Okay? That's in Leviticus, uh, the 20th chapter. A adulterous one and an adulterous man both got to get put to death. It's like when O.J. Simpson killed Nicole Simpson and Ronald Goldman, that faggot. That was an act of God and that was a righteous act what O.J. Simpson did. And you know, we applaud O.J. Simpson for killing an adulterous ass hoe. Better is the churlishness of a man than a courteous woman. Look at this creepy ass A crap. woman, I say, which bringeth shame you're a so-called Jew, Jew ain't you? That's creepy. Look at that creepy motherfucker. That's creepy. You're a bastard. Look at these freaks. But you got more than that? Hey, give me that Ecclesiastes 5. Ecclesiastes 36 and 24. Read that loud. He that getteth the wife beginneth a possession. So the Bible, the Holy Bible says, he that begetteth a wife, a woman, begetteth a possession. That's because women are a possession. They are property. So women are not supposed to be running around free, being a hoe, doing what they want. Because a woman has a mind of a child. You, you can't just let her run around. She's going to get hurt. Okay? She's going to endanger herself. Okay? So you got to protect a hoe. You got to lock her up. Now read that again. Read that again. Like, you, you don't want your young daughter running around free on campus. You know what she's going to do? She's going to get a train ran on her. She's going to get, like, uh, uh, four different guys busting nuts on her face at once. That's what's going to happen. And some dust. And some clean up. Yeah, she's going to clean it up. Gonna clean it up. Yeah. Look that shit wrong. So a big boo guy going to come in there. She's going to fuck her with a dildo. Man, we're not making this. This is what goes on. You started okay, fisting up the ass. Yeah, fisting them. Sticking all kind of inanimate objects up there. Right oh, them fists. They call it fisting. 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 Now you get on the internet, they got a, a, billions of fisting videos. Billions. Committed by billions of different people. Now these people to make these pornos are not imaginary people. It's not CGI. These people actually exist, and there's millions of them doing it. Fisting. Fisting. That's some, that's some awful shit, man. Who in that white motherfucking mind? Fist. 
That's why every other woman you see walk down the street can't walk right. Cause she done got her ass blown out. You know what I'm saying? She got done shooting a porno. All these women shooting porno, they all put their videos on the internet. Every last one of them. That's like the new thing now, oh, to be a hoe, to be a porno star. That's why they said porno stars ain't making as much money as they used to make. Because back in the day, women had more decency. They, I, I ain't gonna be no porno and do that to myself. Now they don't care. Now it's popular. Now they gotta to put in extra work, like work these strip clubs. And, oh yeah. You know. oh, like we saying, there's more prostitutes now than ever. Yeah. And there be some some young, fine-looking prostitutes now. Yeah. You what? You go down Main Street, you see all kind of young white girls, black girls. You, I mean, you got a whole variety to choose from. There's hoes all over the place. They might as well just come out and make that shit legal, man. Set up brothels everywhere. You know, as well. I mean, they're doing it in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, they're doing it in Las Vegas already. The they got a license to do it. And then they call it the city of sin. Yeah. That ain't even lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, at least Las Vegas keeping it real. It's a law that them hoes got to go get tested and everything. Man. It's a law, but they don't do shit. Hell no. You, you, you go get cured for gonorrhea for fucking 100 times. I mean, this shit, they're going to your body just don't go to move. You that shit. They can, they can lay dormant. Right, right, that's right. Diseases just like you said. I mean, there's strands of these diseases going around that can't be cured now. You know, you know, some diseases can lay dormant for generations. Years. For generations. Yep. Like, you and your father might not have it. But your children might have Ooh, it. It, it just pops up every third or fourth generation. That's crazy. Yeah. You know that's what I'm saying? Like lupus. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Esau. Thank you, Esau. That's how lupus is. One of my big moms. Real big man. No doctor. That's it. That's good. And that's more proof of reincarnation. Shit like that. Because you are your children. That's why your children are suffering from the same diseases as you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some diseases run in the family. <laughs> just the way it is. They say it's genetics, you know what I mean? Yeah, being retarded, that runs in the family. Hey, what you got? Uh, this is Jeremiah. Go ahead. I was going to say one small part of you, right? Yeah. Let's get a wife and get a medical session. Jeremiah 3 and 1, they say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him, and become another man. Yeah, so if a woman leaves her man and gets with another man, keep going. Shall he return unto her again? Hell no. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Greatly polluted, because once a woman gets more than one dick in her, just to make it clear in plain English so you can understand me, all right? She's polluted, she's, she's been she's been defiled. So like a woman's only supposed to be with one man her whole life, okay? But, but in America... That's blasphemy. Yeah, that's blasphemy to these hoes. That's okay. blasphemy. It's blasphemy against your God, the devil. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It is, because it is blasphemy to them. Because okay? that God's the devil. And a lot of these, they actually worship the devil secretly. Because you got a lot of devil worshipers out here. That sounds crazy, it's true. Really, when they worship the lust of the eyes, that's what they, they worship. Uh, that's worshiping the devil. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The only thing people in America worship is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That's what they worship. Yeah, he just tells me that all the time. I don't know if I've seen it. That's sneakers commercial. Yeah, you've seen it. Everybody's seen it. Every commercial, every sneaker commercial. It's on YouTube. From the past to now, they say that same shit. Oh, hungry. Oh, yeah. I've been in for a while. Yep, yep. Okay. It's never changed. The same slogan. Yeah, you're right. 30 years ago is the same shit now. Yeah, I remember that. I'm not even saying Just do it. Just, just do, do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't tell that to a one of these bitches. Just, just do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall not that land be greatly polluted? So America is a greatly polluted land. It's the filthiest place on the face of the earth. In the history of the face of the earth, America is the most foulest, filthiest, dirtiest place ever created. 
but thou has played the harlot with many lovers. That's talking about America playing the harlot with all these other nations. They commit abominations. It's really talking about Israel, our people, playing the harlot with these heathens and falling, up, falling after uh, other gods, not following the laws of the Bible. Talking about I'm a Buddha, I'm a Hindu, I'm a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? All that bullshit. So the Bible says you can, you got a Muslim supposed to get stone with stones until they die. Oh yeah, you can be a they got gay parade. Yeah, they got gay parade in America. You be a faggot. You can chop off your dick and get a pussy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's cool. That's the trend. That's trending right now. Transform yeah, your dick into a pussy. Uh, we're down here and you guys running down the street with pants. Yeah, that yeah. was last week. That was last week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a bunch, bunch of right. faggots what running around in pants. They should get put to death for that, man. No students here at OSU. Y'all see this foul shit we speaking of? Everywhere you look is number of filth. Yeah, you, you got women running around freely. You got goddamn Muslims walking down the street, bringing their Muslim shit with them. Then every other man you see is a homosexual. Man, don't explain this shit to him. You tell he's a Jew right away. Not the names. The names aren't. Out of each tribe, right? Yeah. The Lord's going to turn 12,000 out of each tribe. Yeah. That's what he's going to do. But those 144,000 that he's going to save, they have friends, they have family, daughters. Welcome to Bryce Road and Scarborough Boulevard. But the Lord is about to, is about to literally burn two-thirds of our people up. That, that's not one for you because you ain't no Israelite. For just being some wicked niggas, period. You know? Now, we all, we from the hood, you know? I hope you are. You identify with wicked niggas being around. They, they can't go to bed. They can't wake up the next day without some wicked being on their mind. Without fucking your girl. No good, uh, 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 right. But especially in the dark. The Lord hates the dark. The dark is Israel. He hates you. That, uh, uh, that act of adultery with fire in his eyes, you know? Well, anyway, let me get that for you real quick. Yeah, that's, not, that's one of the worst things you can do is commit adultery. Now, America's whole culture, pretty much the whole culture in America is based upon a, a adultery being okay. You know what I'm saying? That's like a... a Look, check this out. The Bible says an adulterous woman got to get stoned to death, right? But in America, what happens if a woman cheats on you? You know what she does? She goes, she files child support on your ass, and then she's going to take your money. And she gets rewarded by the state for, uh, for committing a sin against you. You know what I mean? She gets rewarded for breaking the law. You, you, in America, uh, you get rewarded for breaking the law of the fight. This is Proverbs 6 and 32. But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacking understanding. So yeah, all he's not only a fool would ever even think about committing adultery. Because you because if you was a spiritual man, you know the Lord is gonna fuck you up. I mean you know the spirit man. How you gonna feel somebody fuck your wife? Your wife. That's devastating. You know, you know what I mean? Right, that's worse than losing your job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, one that's worse than losing your job. So your, your car gets stolen and blow up. But your woman fuck another man? That's the worst thing ever. Yeah. Being everything, you want to destroy everything in your fucking presence. You want to use it, you You want to literally destroy everything in your, in your, in your midst. That's why OJ, that's why OJ Simpson killed the whole thing. And he, that, that anger came on him, guys. You know what I'm saying? And we know that she, so what O.J. Simpson did when he killed Nicole Simpson, that was okay in the eyes of God. So that's justified. She committed adultery. That's punishable by death. You know what I'm saying? And just like the Bible said, you got to kill the adulterer and the adulterer. So Ronald Goldman and Nicole Simpson both had to pay. You know what I'm saying? Well, we ain't telling nobody to go kill nobody. It's nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, but sometimes that happens. When, when a woman cheats on you, you lose control. All you see is blood. You just go nuts. Flip out. Flip out. Go crazy. But who shall commit the adultery with a woman lack of understanding? He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Yep. A fool yep. and dishonored shall he get. Yes, yeah, the sin punishable by death. Ain't nothing done in secret. I mean, you can think your boy is at work and, uh, or, your, or whoever.
whatever is at work is gone and no one see it. But the Heavenly Father has angels around all of us. Especially you in Israel right now. So, you know, the time of judgment come up. That's what the angels do. From the sun up, sun down, they just they report back to the Heavenly Father what's going on here. Yeah, so just when the time of judgment comes, hey, your report card comes up. Just like we live in like, what, 2013? We got cameras everywhere. They're, oh, they're recording everything now. Everything. They just built a giant, uh, what's that out in Utah? They built a giant surveillance center where they're recording everybody's phone calls, everybody's emails, every last thing you text and type and talk 